Yeah, hi, my name is Dale. I'm here with Autel, and we're taking a look here with the X-Star Premium. It's our quadcopter that we just launched last week. It's shipping to retailers now. It's a quadcopter with all the advanced features of waypoints, GPS, location. It has a 4K camera on it, and we can shoot 4K, 1080p at 120 frames per second, or 720p at 240 frames per second if you want that ultra slow mo video shot. How much, uh, how much does it run with the remote? We have two models. One is called the X Star, and it's $699. Then we have the XR Premium, which comes with a, a, a longer range, a hard case, and a higher capacity SD card, and that runs $899. Okay. So, I guess a USB, some long, so, yeah, right now it's over USB to uh, iOS or Android. Well, it looks pretty steady to me. Nice steady craft. Now, what happens if the power goes out? Will it come home? When the power gets low at 25%, it's going to go home. When the power gets down to 10%, it's going to auto land automatically. So it'll save your bird so it doesn't crash. This this one is a uh, 695 with UPS, GPS, and Starpoint. Well, that's a whole package right there. That includes a camera? It, it includes a camera. Wow. Good deal. Okay, thank you. Yep. Distance that we're going to be able to uh, capture a heat sink. Oh, I gotcha. Um, there are several uh, lens options available um, that uh, you know go from wide to narrow. So depending on uh, you know what you're looking at or what you want to look at, uh, if, you, if you're planning on flying far away and you want to see something small, you'll go with a narrower field of view. Um, we also, uh, there's three versions available, but uh, we also put narrower fields of view than FLIR has to offer. We put other lenses on there that can go even uh, like 18 degrees uh, with a 35 millimeter lens on there. Okay. Um, I can get you the list of the fields of view, but they'll be like 69. It also depends on the resolution uh, as well. There's a 320 by 240, which, uh, you know, it's a quarter of the uh, pixels than a 640 by 480. So uh, right. if you go to the you know, 320 by 240, you'll have less pixels on target. So, and it all depends on the application. So what we've got here is we've got a parachute deployment for solo. This will automatically deploy in an event of an emergency, like a certain degree tilt or a motor failure or anything like that. Again, it's automatic. This is our light system, which is not available yet, but it is coming online. What it does is directs a high intensity light wherever you need to fly, so we can use it for things like search and rescue or cinematography, okay. lighting things up of that nature. Um, again, all these are not quite yet available, but they will become available soon. Cool. Hello, my name is Nishad and I'm from Vortec UAV and we're based out of New Zealand and this is the New Zealand UAV Technology Pavilion at NAB 2016. What we've got here are thrust vectoring drones and this is technology that's never been implemented on drones before and what this allows us to do is not only um, create a drone that's far more maneuverable but one that is very very resistant to high winds 
it allows us to stay perfectly level in high winds so you never get uh, props in your shot. It also allows us to move around while staying perfectly level. And the other, op the other thing that we can do is with thrust vectoring technology, we can also hover at any angle. So if you want to increase the field of view, you can lean the whole drone back. And by doing that, you increase the field of view of your camera and your overall shoot area. Okay, so we're, we're Aeronavix, we're a New Zealand based company and uh, we've been involved in the UAV drone industry for a really long time. In fact, one of the first companies to come to NAB uh, and exhibit years ago. Um, you could say we specialise in uh, building very stable um, industrial and commercial frames and this is an example of that. This is actually our smallest craft, it's called the Navi and the whole idea with the Navi is that it gives you a really good flight time uh, while doing um, industrial uh, or commercial work. So you can see here that uh, we have an interchangeable um, system here. I'm going to just have to put this down for a moment. Okay, so we're just changing out a uh, surveying camera. We're using the A6000 Sony. Oopsie. And so we've just changed that out for a Microsense uh, NDVI camera for uh, doing a agricultural uh, sc uh, scanning for um, looking at the health of crops. So uh, that's just an example. We also hang a 35 um, time zoom camera off here with a gimbal and we have a multiple of other uh, payloads that we can put on including um, a uh, thermal imaging camera and we're looking at uh, 3D LiDAR also. So we're using, uh, you can see here we've got uh, using a three prop system. Um, so we're getting, um, so that works really, really well for us. And one of the um, really nice features of the Aer Aeronavics products is you'll see that we have a, um, we, we're using a parachute. And so this is a, uh, this is a ballistic parachute. And so you've got a, like a half a second deploy time. So if you do get into trouble, all that expensive uh, equipment and that, uh, that, that drone is uh, going to be protected. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We've got various other options. We've got uh, retracting landing gear um, and uh, as opposed to uh, fixed landing gear just depending on whether or not you need to have that 360 surround view and uh, you'll also note that we are sporting LED lights for um, navigation for uh, when you're when you're at distance so that seems to be working really well the whole thing packs down into a into a travel case uh, the cap comes off the arms uh, uh, are on a, a latches and uh, can be easily packed away for travel yeah so that's pretty much it Hi, uh, I'm, my name is Sergey. I'm here with Photokite. We're a Swiss uh, company from Zurich, Switzerland, uh, building tethered, uh, f tethered flying cameras. So we're actually we're a startup. We're pretty recent. Uh, this is our first product. This is the Photokite Pro, and the idea here is it's uh, it's basically like having a mast, uh, like a 70-foot mast, in a box. So it ships it ships like that. It's carry on into most uh, airliners. That's actually how we travel with it usually. And uh, what's pretty unique about it is it's a, it's a quadcopter, but it's flying with a tether and it's always producing tension on this cable. So that's actually its GPS. It knows where it is because it can observe the forces on the tether, which makes it uh, a very different solution from traditional drones where you have to have some sort of outside radio uh, Traffic to figure out where you are. Uh, the GPS or the is it possible to power the, the uh, drone through the cable? Actually, that's exactly what you're seeing right now. So, this thing, uh, as it's flying right now, is powered uh, actually not even from a battery, which would be the usual uh, case, but it, it's powered from the, from the grid, from AC power. So, this has been flying all day yesterday, it's, go, it's flying all day today. And uh, again, this is a live broadcast tool, so this is. Um, Send them down 1080p uncompressed video. Yeah, it's, it's through a line of sight wireless. And how much would this 
run? So the, the, the kit uh, for, for live broadcast is a pretty specialized tool. We retail starting at 8,000 uh, US dollars. And then there, there are different options you can add on, like uh, AC converter, additional batteries, spare parts, things like that. So uh, this is our other product. This is called the Photokite Fee, which we actually um, we crowdfunded it on Indiegogo recently. So it, it's a much more portable version. So it actually fits into this tube. It's a collapsing design. So it goes up like that. It runs up. Thank you. And then goes in there. And it actually, it, it, it works the same way. It's a bit simpler. Uh, so you power it on. There's a GoPro on board that you just plug in. And then you point it in the direction that you want to fly. So for example, I wanted to fly towards Marcus here. I just point it towards him. Give it a twist. And that initializes it. And now it's going to actually keep... So you see, again, for the suspension on the cable, it's going to keep that position relative to me no matter what. So if I move around, it actually naturally follows me as well. Fantastic. Thank you. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hi Roger. I'm Colby with eHang. I'm a marketing specialist here. This what you're seeing is our Ghost Drone 2.0. This is the latest version of our Ghost Drone. What you're seeing is uh, Tiago, he's flying it in avatar mode. If you notice, he's tilting the phone. If you see, if you can point the camera over here towards Tiago, he's tilting his phone to fly the drone. Very simple, very easy to use, no experience required. You just tilt the phone in whatever direction you want it to fly and it will fly there. The Ghost Drone 2.0 comes with two different flight modes and also a follow me mode. The first flight mode is avatar mode, what he's using. We also have a waypoint mode and you can set waypoints on a map interface that comes with our app and the Ghost Drone will fly directly to those points. At any point in time, you can always hit return home or position hold, the Ghost Drone will hold that position. So our whole philosophy with the Ghost Drone was really to create something that anyone can fly, no experience required. If you notice, uh, there's a green light on the bottom of the Ghost Drone. That's our new 4K spherical camera. Shoots in 4K, 1080p or 720. You can start and stop video directly from the app. How long is the flight time? Flight time is about 20 minutes, depending on what you're doing. Recharge time's about an hour. So you got a couple packs, you can stay flying pretty consistently. Does it have FPV on it? Uh there, there's two different version, versions here, Roger. We got the aerial version, which comes with the uh, a, a, a sports camera. It's our own proprietary sports camera. It will also take a, a, a GoPro Hero 3 or Hero 4. And then we have uh, the 4K version you see flying here, which comes with our own VR goggles. So we have two different SKUs we're selling currently. One is just the GoPro version, no goggles, and then our 4K version here, which comes with VR goggles. Yeah. How much would a package cost for? Uh, yeah, the GoPro version is five ninety nine. Our aerial package is ten ninety nine. Everything you need to fly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about a uh, return to home? What yeah, yeah, return to home. Uh, we were really uh, safety conscious when we built this. At any point in time, if you are unsure what's happening, you can't see the drone. Simple touch of a button on the app, and the drone will fly directly back to where it took off. 
And then also, if you're say you're flying, Roger, and maybe uh, you you're just not sure uh, uh, how much battery you had left, and the battery got down to a, a critically low point, the Ghost Drone's going to automatically go into a return to home mode and come back to where it took off. So we really, you know, emphasize safety with the Ghost Drone when we were designing it. Yep.